Hi Gear Junkie, uh, thank you for coming for, to see us here at Superboot uh, 2021. It's, uh, it's probably a travel for everybody, it's not so easy coming over here this year uh, with everything that's going on, but uh, it's really awesome to see people again and everybody and just having a good party here in Berlin. Um, so this year we kind of been stayed at home in lockdown and we had uh, extra time to do things and what can be better than uh, working on projects that are in need of, uh, of a lot of details and research and development and um, the project we've been working mostly about was the Bukla 200 series. I think most folks already know about it by now. Um, and uh, we waited till this moment to release it. Uh, we actually rushed to this last moment because we wanted to put together a whole system and um, this is the system that uh, we are seeing here today. Um, and the interesting part is that uh, this system has been put together actually just a couple of days ago. So this is, uh, even for us, it's the first time actually playing on this complete instrument. Um, and that's where the magic really comes out because when you have all these modules connected together, you start to get the feel of its complexity, you get the feel of the sounds coming out of it and the potential of like how many uh, things you can do with that. Um, it's quite different than, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, modules in Eurorack. Some of them are like um, uh, modules that do everything in one module, that create yeah. different sounds and even modulate themselves. And this is quite the opposite of that. This is more goes Bukla and Surge style. This is more about you patch programmable. You patch your sounds. It's all on you to get this thing to do the things you want it to do. Um, so, well, it's a project that um, really requires you to understand what the person who designed it, obviously Don Bukla, the late Don Bukla, uh, wanted it to do. And um, that was the main obstacle for us in developing this because um, all the information left um, is not very, how should I say, not very precise, not very clear. There's a lot of things you can speculate about. And, uh, Speculation is not good when you want to design something that is original, when you want something which is basically a recreation and not something that you are cloning just like if you were a robot or something. Um, and for that we had to team with Bukla and Bukla agreed to work with us on this and it becomes, uh, the more we were talking, the more it came to be something that uh, we actually feel passionate about it together. And. Uh, so it didn't turn to be like a licensing deal or anything like that. It's really become a true collaboration, like a synergy between two companies um, to create this thing. And obviously they have the know-how that Don left for many years from people they work with. And these are things that goes, you know, by mouth. It's not something that are written. So all this information was kind of provided to us and all of a sudden the whole pictures that was right and we could see okay so that's that was the reason it's been done like this or like that um, so um, these are the modules that uh, we created so far and um, we started this before the pandemic and the idea was to really release a whole system at once uh, unfortunately this is not going to happen because there's a major shortage in uh, electronic uh, parts these days um, but we acquire quite enough to start going and the first module that will be released will be the 258 dual oscillator um, and the 281 quad function generator um, and I hope that we will be able to get them out by around uh, Christmas um, if there's no surprises <laughs> um, and prices are also fluctuating all the time so we are trying to aim at the fixed price but things might go up might go down and we will follow what's going on in the market for that um, but uh, one of the interesting point about this system is that it's actually very affordable uh, one of the things that both Bukla and us agree on is that it's time to make this thing happen and it's time to let people give them a chance to really explore and try the sound there's so many so few rare pieces uh, out there in few studios around the world um, that it really um, required a, a, a logistic thinking on how we can make this thing affordable for everybody to come in 
And I think we nailed it pretty well. We are aiming at the prices of around anywhere between $160 to $200 for the oscillators. Um, something around that for the 281. I mean, you can get the idea of where we're going with this. Um, and also, you know, it's, it, it makes sense because I understand that this thing really works well together one with each other. It will work well with other Eurac modules for sure. I, I don't have no doubt about this. But it really shines, uh, at least from my experience, when you put it all together, it's just made to work well together, one with each other. Um, so we know people would want this and this and this and that module and that module. Then up it started getting expensive. So it was important to be able to give this whole kit really like uh, to make it affordable. Um, these modules are really just the start. There's quite a lot of more modules in the 200 series and we're, they are all in different stages of development. Um, and uh, it's time to, uh, to start the production run. We are going to start doing it actually right after Superboot. I'm very excited about it, also very worried about it because production is really where you need to make sure things are done right. Yes. Um, yes. But I'm sure we will nail it because uh, Tip Top Audio is a company that has its own factory. We make everything in our yeah. in-house. In um, so we have full control over the quality and how things are done. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about this and um, maybe the next step is to let you hear some sounds from the system. Good plan. So uh, I'll introduce you to Piero. Piero, please. Um, Piero is, uh, is one of the designers at Tip Top Audio and um, he's probably the guy who pushed me more than anybody else to go that route. Uh, he was like, Gura, I want the booklet system. I want it, I want it, I want it. So uh, <laughs> he almost put a gun into my head. So. Uh, so we made it. So I'm always honored to give him to, to do the patches. <laughs> All right.